So my name is Wendy Lafayette, and my connection with cystic fibrosis is my younger brother, Michael, who's two years younger than myself, was born with cystic fibrosis. Michael was diagnosed at birth, and in terms of his hospital stays, he was pretty much in and out of the hospital his entire life, including every holiday, every birthday, the entire time from birth until 40 when he finally passed away from cystic fibrosis. I'm the oldest, so already I feel like I had that older sister responsibility. In terms of him having cystic fibrosis on top of just being the oldest sibling and those added responsibilities, I felt a responsibility to not only help him just as his best friend, but, you know, help my mom, you know, making sure that he was taking his medicine all the times that he didn't want to and making sure that he was doing his breathing vest when he didn't want to, going to the doctor's appointments and just being there. So I would definitely say that I felt an added responsibility, not that anybody ever said I had to do that. But when it's your sibling, of course, you want to do any and everything to help them. I think I was just always willing to go even more above and beyond because he was sick versus my, we have one other sister who doesn't have cystic fibrosis. I would definitely say she probably got cheated out of the deal growing up. It's a really good question about the biggest lesson CF has taught me in life in general. It is to take every single day, one day at a time, and try to live it to your best capacity in what you're able to hold space for. Because one day you could feel healthy because you took all of your medicine and did your breathing and you've just had a pulmonary function test, for example, and the doctors said that your lung function was higher and you think that you're going to be okay based off of what the test said, but then the next day you wake up and it's complete opposite of what the test said, what the doctor said, what you thought because there's just no guarantee. And so that's why it's really important to just live every single day in the moment, each day, like I said, to the best of your ability. And I think that's how I would probably summarize it just because again, you never know what the next day is going to bring when it comes to CF. It's just a very up and down bumpy roller coaster. That's a great question. What led our family to Claire's place actually was the social worker from um, University of Washington Medical. She had let us know actually about the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation so that we could get in touch with the caseworker to look at potentially helping us at the time. It was getting my brother's insurance benefits reinstated and just any kind of resources that might be able to help us financially. It wasn't until I reached out to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation that I was actually introduced to Claire's place. Once I was introduced to Claire's Place, literally our whole world changed. Quick response from Claire's Place was honestly mind-blowing. I was not expecting that because by the time I had reached out to them, my brother had passed. And because my brother was located in another state, so he was in the state of Washington and we're from Montana, there's an extra fee that I learned about that comes with transporting somebody's body from another state. And so the uh, end-of-life services expenses were adding up a lot faster than we had imagined and we had not plan for. And so when I had reached out, and this is in addition to having started a GoFundMe and the GoFundMe, we were not raising enough funds on time because with a funeral home, you know, they're not a bank. They don't let you make payments. You have to be able to have the funds up front. And if it wasn't for your foundation, I honestly, I was thinking back uh, this morning, I'm not sure how everything would have ended. I would tell them that whether or not you are affected by cystic fibrosis, whether or not you have a family member who has it, whether or not you have a friend that has it, this is a very serious disease that can take somebody's life in a very quick amount of time. I would encourage you to be open to giving a donation of any amount. Literally any amount is not too small. It doesn't matter. And just know that your donation, your generosity, and what you're giving is going to touch people's lives in a way that I almost can't explain what your gift would be doing in words. 